Huh? <laughs> Greetings from Macon, Georgia, Georgia. At Irving Consumer Products. And man, we've been here a long time. Yeah. <laughs> a long, long time. Five and a half hours. And all they've done so far is moved me from one dock to another. Yeah. But we're racking up detention money, right? Yeah. So, so there's that. Yeah, why not? I took a nice nap getting paid detention money. So you can't beat that. Mm, yeah, but an hour ago they moved us from one dock to another. So they said, "Oh, we're going to load you right away." That was an hour ago. I still, I still got a green light. They didn't even put the dock plate down yet. Christ. But anyways, we're trucking, right? Yeah, trucking. Typical. We took the big guy up to the dealer. Now I was at my shop and I had the mechanic stethoscope on and I heard that turbo, well we heard it for a while making noise right. and now it's not the turbo turbo, it's the compound part of the turbo, the gear driven set that goes down to the crankshaft. Everybody's going to think, oh it's a turbo, it's a turbo. Well it's not. This is like a second stage to a turbo that helps create more torque. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get technical. I'd be on here for an hour explaining how the whole thing worked. Because, you know, I had to, before I, before I got it, I figured it all out. Right. And all I said was, ooh, this is like a $20,000 turbo. Right. But so, anyway, go ahead. So we take it to the dealer. It's making noise. It sounded sick. And you told them specifically. Yep. <laughs> specifically. Things to do, check. They did find a boost leak. Okay, great, fix that. Yeah. So they're telling me there's no noise. Yeah, no noise. I'm like, how can that be? So we run down to the auto parts store, because I don't have a mechanic stethoscope in the truck. I just have one out of our shop. Porsche, Porsche yeah. shop, right? And I buy one. And I pranced my happy ass up an hour and a half away to this dealer from our house. <laughs> With your stethoscope. With my mechanic stethoscope. Fire it up, jam it on there, and sure enough, it's not making a peep. So, I thought there was a bad bearing in there. That's what seems to be happening. Everybody keeps sending me notes about Johnny Be Good. His bad bearing and wiped out his motor, cost him 30 grand. So, you didn't want that to happen. Yeah, uh, 30 but grand. That, there was no noise. That put a pin in my balloon for a little bit. <laughs> and I get up there, stick the stethoscope on it, and it's not making noise. Just normal gear rollover noise you can hear in there. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So, like, if it was a bad bearing, a bearing is either bad or it's not. Right. You know, there's no in between. Well, sometimes they squeal a little bit before they explode. So anyways, that was our fiasco with that. Yeah, so I mean, it was good. That cost me, what it cost me, 800 to yeah, get something like that. two little blue hoses put on and yeah. them to drive my truck around and stink it up. Some mechanic that never changed his clothes. Stop. I, I went through half a bottle of Febreze. <laughs> I sprayed the shit out of the truck before I got out of it. <laughs> So that was that. I had a little minor surgery on my neck, right? Yeah. We just got the stitches out yesterday, so we said, let's go. Yeah. So you should see some videos from us, because we'll video we'll lots down. of talk about with yellow truck and going out of business and... Horrible. Yeah, 30,000 people have a job. Now that, that freight will get sucked up in this giant spot market capacity instantly but I see a bunch of uh, lower weight loads I don't know if they were quite LTL loads which is less than truck load you don't know if you're gonna hear me use fancy terms here LTL versus FTL which is full truck load but since there's no LTL carrier it's got to go on an FTL carrier and away it goes 
doesn't fill up the box, it doesn't fill up the box. You're paying. Yeah. Either way. So I've seen some, some, not a lot. But I can't book the next load until this one's complete, and this one's not even loaded, and we wasted a whole day already. I know. I can't believe it's, uh, it's 6 30 already. Yeah, good luck parking tonight up here near Atlanta. Jeez. Park right over there. I'll throw you out. <laughs> yeah. You can sit here all day on our time, but not on yours. Yeah, so that was that. We've been golfing. She played in her first golf tournament. Yeah, got second place. Second place. <laughs> I didn't do too well. I was nervous. She was nervous and confused. She didn't really didn't understand. Yeah, it was a stupid format. And scramble or something. I don't know what a dice. dice. Yeah, Vegas scramble. Vegas scramble. It was kind of stupid. But she had a ringer on her team, so she was good. Right. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think they know. I can't believe it. Is that truck leaving? Son of a... Really? He, he pulled in my... Bus. Yeah, he pulled in hours after I took a nap, started to take a nap. Oh, I took a nice nap, so... Unbelievable. And they moved me to expedite me. They haven't even touched me. Irving Consumer Products. Of, Son of a I know some of you guys have been here that are truckers on the channel, and those of you who haven't, it's pretty much paper towels and toilet paper. How far can it be? Just stick it on the truck. Yeah, they, I'm telling you, they don't have it ready. And my wife's like, you booked this load two days ago. How come they don't have it ready? It's because, you know, they probably send out 150 trucks a day with the same crap. It should be ready. Yeah. If they know they're going to send it out, they should be wrapping it up and having it staging. So, needless to say, I bet you we're going to be driving half the night trying to find some place to park in. It's it got gold plated? Alabama. <laughs> oh, gold plated toilet paper. <laughs> I'm mad because they don't have it ready yet. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm so that's mad. trucking. That's truck. I hate that <laughs> saying, but it's so damn true. You go, oh, that's trucking. Oh, I mean, that's I, trucking's I code for I, code word for you just got screwed. Uh, I couldn't work that way. I mean, I guess I am working that way because I'm here. Yeah, we're here. I'm doing that. I'm doing this job. I'm doing that job. I'm working, working, work, work, work. <laughs> and I knew it because I've read. I've, this is my third time here, and five years and both times I was in and out the other two times this time not so much and I knew it because I read the reviews all the time and people are like six hours a load eight hours a load what the hell and I was like well I've never experienced that so I, I don't know I don't know what to tell you buddy well now we are yeah. but there's plenty of time on this yeah but still agenda yeah we're gonna be we're gonna is, be trucking is that somebody going up that is there somebody on a lift going up that whole, that thing up that water tank yeah what is that hanging off it is that a person i can't zoom with this camera i know and i can't see with these glasses there's a water tank there <laughs> and there's a black thing and i don't think so it's not moving is it yeah, it's moving real slow. Yeah, it is moving. moving. Somebody's going up to the water tank. Or they're coming down. Maybe we missed it. <laughs> I just happened to see it. How about that? Yeah. That job is on the hell no. to the no. <laughs> hell <laughs> to the no. Oh. Yeah, Robbie, get on this. Get on this little <laughs> teeny. <laughs> Pallet, yeah, and we're gonna take you 300 foot up on a wire, and and then you got to paint this water tower. Yeah, I wonder if that's what they were doing. I guess they're coming down because it's late, so 
We were they taking were probably a. up there the whole time. We didn't even know it. Yeah. Then maybe they were just just coming down now. Oh, oh, hell no, look at that shit. <laughs> hell no is right. It's round and everything, man. You could just, just, oh, no. Roll off that. Yeah, the only thing that's going to break your fall is Mother Earth. <laughs> or those wires. <laughs> yeah, hell no. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, hell no. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's all. So, I won't get pissed off here until we're out of detention time. Yeah, that'll piss me off. Yeah, because oh, then that. now you're you're costing me money. Yeah, that thing's going up. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Anyway, here we sit. We're here gonna we head sit. to this load's going to south of Dallas. I forget what town Jesus. it is. See how hot it is there. How hot is it? My friend Sean said it's a hundred. It was a hundred and four all week Ugh. last week. Yeah, they did go up. Look at that. It was up. Oh. This guy's trying to move his tandems, and I guess he didn't release it. He's gonna try again. It's not released, buddy. Just flat spot them tires. It's probably not your trailer. Someone like me, that thing just even goes up a little bit and doesn't move. I know it's not released. Put some air to it. Wait a minute. Release the guy. Oh, he's got a hammer. He just doesn't want to air it up. Because he doesn't understand how the system works. Let me just get my hammer. Air it back up. Build up pressure in the tank. And it'll release. Is that guy bald, or does he have a yarmulke on? Uh, you know, you're asking me all these questions. I can't see what my glasses are on. <laughs> He's got hair. Oh, shit. What? What is going <laughs> that, on there? What, what's going on with that hair? It does. It looks oh, like maybe it's a do-rag? We just can't see it from this far away? No, it looks like he has a bald spot. It's a giant... Yeah, maybe it's a yarmulke. He just could be, uh, you I know. Oh, what's this guy? What's he doing? Screw it, I'll drive with the tandems all the way back. Typical. Maybe they went up there because it's, it's cooler now. Or maybe less wind. Maybe you gotta take that up to get onto the ladder and go the rest of the way to the top. What happens if that wire snaps or whatever? Who goes up there to put a new wire on? How would you do that? Get a helicopter ride? New. Oh no. Oh, hell no. All right, so we'll check in yeah. when we check in. Yeah. We'll be making videos because we're going to be out in the road for a little bit, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. We're not sure yeah, if it's going to going to be one week, two weeks, three weeks. Who knows? Or who knows? See what's out there. See what it loads. Yeah, it seems to be pretty good. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not great. But it's not friggin' horrible. There's there's loads out there. You just gotta plan your routes. Don't don't bite the dangling carrot. Don't take the two dollar and thirty cent a mile load going to the middle of nowhere where you're gonna eat all your profits deadheading four hundred miles back to get a dollar fifty load. Don't don't do that. But there you can piece it together. I'm going to try to stay in the Midwest yep. and Southeast. It's like that's where everything's at, I guess. That's where it seems to be the most volume and the 
most consistent money. Even though I did look at a California load, I was thinking, oh shit, but we've already been in California twice this year. I don't want to go back. Yeah, I mean, I don't care, but it's a long ride. Be a lot better with our trail or pulling freight. True. Up those mountains yeah. versus that, that the race car trailer that we're grossed out at 79 plus thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. Big guys just screaming for 30 miles up that to Hatchby Mountain. So cool. We'll check in. All right. Yeah, or this might be a video all on its own. It might be. Might be. So there you go. Shazam. <laughs>